Well, I want to fix this regulator. It's an external regulator for an alternator. And what this um, external regulator does is it allows the voltage, the output voltage to go to a maximum of 16 volts instead of 14.5 volts. Because what I'm using the alternator for, I need the increased voltage. Now, what happened to it is it burns itself out. Not exactly sure why, but it did. So it has all this epoxy or rubber or whatever you want to call this stuff that's embedded and seals it all so that the circuit board is not seeable or fixable. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to dissolve all that gook that's inside there sealing the circuit board. And what I'm using to do that is acetone. It works really, really well of softening up that, um, whatever that stuff is. And you can see at the bottom, it's already working. There's some bits, pieces, and particles down there. And then once the longer it sits there, that stuff there will get softer and softer. And I'll be able to pick it, pick away at it with a toothpick or some small little tool. A little sharp object, being very careful not to um, injure the circuit board itself. And then once I have it all cleaned up, I'll be able to detect the problem and find out what exactly burnt out and change that little piece and fix this again and make it to work. And it'll be a savings of about, this piece here is about $35. So it's going to take a, I don't know how much it's going to cost to fix it to buy that little, whatever it may be that's burnt out inside there. But I don't imagine it's going to be close to comparison in the cost of a new one of these. So that's what I'm going to do with this piece. And uh, if anybody else is interested in trying something like that and you're unsure of what's going to dissolve that compound that's in there, acetone works well. So I'm going to put it back, submerge it back into the acetone. Acetone's not cheap, so I end up putting a little bit in there and I tip the bucket like so. So it's completely submerged into the acetone and the acetone can start doing its thing. Now it's not a fast procedure, it takes, well I imagine it's going to take a few days before it's going to soften all that up to the point where I can work at it and remove it and access the circuit board, but that's how I'm going to do it. Well thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed this little tipful video and subscribe if you have not and thank you very much for those that have.